Okay. I upload a photo of Terry. I upload a photo of Terry. I tell my story. I have the Timmons please come to my door. I explain. I'm only posting that because I'm telling my story. Okay. I was abused child. Mom, dad, Joe. But I post, I have a rule. I post a photo. If, if I came, if I was a child and I came into contact with you and I got a photo of me with you, I don't care if you're the, the, the principal. If I have a photo of you with me as a child, you're going up on the blog. So that's how, that's the rule. Okay, so I tell him, I'm just telling my story. He says, she's transgender. I go and I say, well, I, I, I could say the same thing that I feel unsafe because I'm gay, because I'm LGBT. He has a big smile on his face like, like he's hoping that I'm going to say this. Well, I could feel the same way because the video is made about me. And then it was like he was going to say, so you're only making the videos, these videos, because I feel like these videos were made for me to forget about the original. The original is, is I'm only telling my story. But if you make these videos, I forget about the original and I say this instead. When he says, well, she's transgender and it puts her, um, well, she's transgender and she feels unsafe. He wanted me right there to, instead of saying the original, to say what they want me to say. And what they wanted me to say is, is, well, I could feel unsafe because she's putting that down. And I'm only doing this because she's doing this. But that's not true. But that's what they were trying to manipulate me into doing. Potentially. So he says, be careful at the end. He says, I explain why I'm putting the picture up. I'm telling my story. He says she's transgender, her safety. I say, well, I could feel, I could say the same thing because I'm LGBT. He thinks I'm going to not say the original, but instead say what they want me to say. It's just a way to manipulate me, but I stick to the original. But now there's two issues. There's that issue, but there's an entirely other issue. The issue is, is that I'm accusing her of making these NWO videos. She says it's not me. If Timmons police even said it's not her. So are we, am I going to be allowed to continue this? Little circle. No big time. Until it pops. Hey, a big circle until it pops. Hey. It popped because I got charged. Yeah. It did pop. You got charged. Yeah. Yeah. But she would say, Mom, and this is all I have to say, and I'm going to end the recording, is this last part. When me and you went on the bus, and she got on the bus at 58 Lakeview Drive, when me and you were on the bus, and then it stopped at the bus station at 58 Lakeview Drive, and then she got on, imagine if I would have said to her, hey, Terry, you're not upset about the photos anymore? Like, I'm only telling my story. You're a lot like DC Comics when they said, no, 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 no. We don't want to be associated with child abuse when it comes to Jeffrey Baldwin. You can't use Superman. We're DC Comics. We own Superman. You can't be using that. We don't want to be associated with child abuse. And then later on, everyone's pressuring them. Come on, let him, let him. And then they go, okay, we'll allow it. Well, she's a lot like that. She doesn't want to be associated with child abuse. Okay. I think that the transgender became more important. Transgender rights are so important. Yes, very, very important. And they're so important that I feel like the Timmons police did this. It was almost like the Timmons police believed that Terry's rights mattered more than mine. Like, so look at it like this. My nephew's gonna come here and, and he's going to upload onto YouTube and go to Pride and Crown Ward and post my photos. And it really exposes it in a, in a, not in a direct way. That's why they made, that's why they called me a child molester. To get me to do this late at night. You know what? I'm going to do the same thing to you. It's to manipulate me yeah. into doing this. Oh yeah, I'm going to do the same thing to you. I'm going to create an NWO account. I'll be anonymous. 
If you can't track this because I don't know about tracking, so I think I'm getting away with this. I go, NWO video? And I go, Terry Larrabee, transgender, lives at 58 Lakeview Drive. And I think she called the police so many times about the pictures that she was scared when we went to the police station when we took a picture with you. You're allowed to take pictures like that, eh? Yeah. But we don't want to do that to her because that's not our intent. Okay? Well, I said I was going to get her when Lucy passes away. Yeah, but that's how they interpreted it. Yeah, but you're on the internet. Yeah. The way I interpreted what you said was I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you by uploading new photos of you on the internet. Yeah. And I'm going, to, and I don't care if I go to jail, go to jail for criminal defamation. But she. She sees it the way she wants to see it because she has an agenda. Make it where anything to make it where you go away. That's why she would always, um, a guy's gonna get ya when you were kids. So you were scared and you would leave. But I will say this and end it. You know why we never take pictures of her? Like she took a picture of us in South Porcupine and puts it on the Facebook, on her YouTube wall, on her YouTube video. We will never take a picture of that because we already have a photo of you, and our intention isn't to harass you and take a, a picture of what you look like recently and put it and have people identify you. No, it's just, you know, that's what they want, so it looks like that. Yeah. And that's not what we're all about. We have to, they're trying to manipulate us and determine what they want us to be. I make time. No, we're all about telling a story and using the photos that are available to us. If I came into contact with a principal who's no longer a principal, and he's 89, I still would do the same thing. Regardless if he even became a woman now, I still would do the same thing. But I feel like she went like this. I was thinking about this on the bus, and then I'm going to end it. This is what I thought about on the bus. It's almost like Terry once explained it. Let me explain what's going on. My nephew's coming here. He's trans, LGBT. He's going to tell a story about being abused. He's going to show my pictures. And it links to transgender. Teddy's mother looks like me? He, mom looks like me. She even told you. You look just like me. It's like hinting. So she explained this all to the cops. She said, officer, I'm concerned. Let me explain. Or at least she said it in her mind. But I believe that I wouldn't be too surprised if she told the cops her whole concern. And they said, yeah, do that. You got that. Because transgender rights mean mo matter yeah. more than my rights as a, as a survivor. You know that? Yeah. I'm going to say this and end it. Let me, look at me. Officer, I'm really worried. I'm really, really worried. My nephew, he wants to come here and be trans. He wants to go to Pride. He wants to have a YouTube account. He wants to tell his story about the Crown War class action. His mother looks at looks like me. He's gonna. He wants to post his, all the photos and tell his story as a CES survivor. He wants to put my pictures. But she knew the way I felt. The way I felt was this, and the way I feel is this, and they know that. Mom and Dad, Joe, I was abused. But if I have a photo of you, as. If I have a photo of you, if I came into contact with you and I have a photo, like I got a photo with me and Arnold, I could put that. And he might go, I don't want that there, but he's not going to get two, 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 two upset. Or maybe he will. But that's the rule that I came into contact. That's the rule that I, yeah. I got mom, I got Carl, and I got Joe. <coughs> But if I was a child and, I, and you were an adult and I came into contact with you and I got a photo, I put it up. And she knew that was the rule. And it links. And then the cops almost explained to her this. If a cop can come here and I can explain it all, if a cop can come here and explain it all, I explain it all to the cop. And then he says, well, you're posting videos about her. I felt like what he wanted me to say was trying to manipulate me. He was trying to manipulate me and do this. Well, I'm only posting photos of her because she's posting videos of me. Well, so your intent, it has nothing to do with you being abused in your story. But again, I didn't say that. 
Yeah. That's what he wanted me to say, say, but I stuck with the original because you're trying to manipulate me. And instead of saying that, I said this. When he said, well, you're posting photos of her. And I said, I'm only telling my story, though. She's not. She, I'm telling my story to inspire people, to help prevent abuse, to create, to, to be an advocate because I really was abused. Listen, I got 30 grand. Terry says it herself that I was abused by Joe. My claim was assessed. You can look at me and go, I know you got, this is what they do, Mom. I know you got 30 grand, but were you really abused? I haven't looked at your whole claim, but I'm going to go and question this. My claim was assessed by two women hired by the province. You know what I mean? And you know why I got that money? Because even if you were not abused, even if you can't prove that you were abused in care, believe me this. You were abused prior to going into care, okay? They themselves say they don't take children away from good parents. Okay, I'm almost done. i got a couple more minutes. But I wanted to say this. I feel like Terry was saying this to the cops. So it links, right? So what can I do? Can you look at me for a minute? No. Okay, well, I'm explaining in here Okay. to, to the recording. Okay. So I feel like the cops went like this. Well, then do it to him. Do shit to him. Lie about him. And they thought, get him to accuse you of making these videos. And I am now. And they thought, well, you can't prove it. You can't prove it. But I'm asking for it to be tracked. I'm asking for it to be tracked. When these videos were made, when these videos were made, this is where I live, guys. I want you, whoever's making this account, I believe that it's my aunt. Come here, okay? Come here, okay? Listen, what's a child abuser? What's a child molester? A child molester is someone who molested a child. I've never molested a child. So you're lying. Okay? Now, there's a reason why a lot of child abuse survivors are never believed. Because you have people like you who are using this system and plugging it just to falsely accuse someone just for your own agenda. You're misusing a system. You know that man in Hamilton? He was falsely accused by a bunch of neighbors in the boarding room. That man in Hamilton, he was falsely, that man in Hamilton, he was falsely accused by the residents in that boarding home. The police never would get involved and explain to everyone and clear his name and have it where people go, oh, okay, and leave him alone. No, they don't do that. They don't get involved until the bubble burst, okay? They're not going to do that. You have a woman who gets raped and the police say, well, look what you were wearing. You have a guy being falsely accused in Hamilton. What do the police do? Nothing until he gets murdered. That's a bubble bursting. Now, potentially that could happen to me. I can get murdered right here in Hamilton or right here in Timmins. The police don't care. But when it comes for transgenders, yeah, transgenders can ask to have their balls shaved. And if they don't get their balls shaved, they can fucking file a lawsuit. Okay, transgenders can can uh, ditch their whole family. Okay, just to identify... A transgender can ditch their whole fucking family just to identify as a six-year-old and be with your adoption family. Yeah, transgender rights overruled this whole... Thomas Larrabee, my nephew, he's coming into town. He wants a YouTube account transgender LGBT pride his mom just looks like me well then and they're doing and he wants to tell his story he uses he puts a photo of me 
any, like I told you the rule before, mom, dad, Joe, but any other adult that I came into contact with, if I got a photo of you, I take it and I put it up there. But she's transgender. And it links to that, so they thought, well, make a video calling him Thomas Larrabee Child Molester, hangs around cannabis stores, look at my face, maybe late at night he'll make one just like that, and we'll have that tracked. But I'm not going to do that, because that's not my intention. Stop making me do something that I'm trying to do, okay? Stop trying to make me... Try, what I mean is this. Stop trying to make me do something that I don't want to do. Stop trying to make me do something that I don't want to do, that I never want to do. I never wanted to do it, so don't try to make me do it, okay? Stop that. Now, the other thing is this. That's the first thing. They want me to make a video like that. That's why they made that. I feel like they went like this. I feel like they said this to themselves. Thomas was abused. Thomas was abused. He was awarded $30,000. Terry Larrabee said it herself that he was abused. But we don't care about that. You're an adult now. You know when we tell people, you know when we say we hate child abusers and child molesters because, because they damage kids 10, 20, 30 years later... And the majority of them, listen, they, the Children's Aid Society, this, the Children's Aid Society, the CES themselves say that the majority who age out become unproductive members of society. They don't become a Victor Malaric or a Tony Grant, okay, a police officer or a reporter with W5. No, they become unproductive members of society. Criminals, you get the idea. You understand. You get the picture, Okay. So the majority age out, and there's a reason, and age out and become that. There's a reason why, because abuse stunts your growth. Okay, they stunt. It stunts your growth. Now, I feel like the Timmins police were thinking to themselves. Anyways, they say this: we hate child abusers and child molesters, and they get jail time and punished because they cause so much harm to kids. Uh, 10, 23 years later, um, the abuse stunts their growth and, and it damages them 30 years later. You say all that to justify why you're charging the offender and sending them to jail. Okay, you admit all that. You admit all that, that it stunts the growth of the child who was abused 30 years later. It could affect their job, relationships, all that. You admit all that, but then you look at the victim right in their eyes and say, that was 30 years ago, move on. So that says right there, you're just using us as cat bait. That's all you're doing. You're using us as cat bait to be able to arrest these offenders and have them in jail and have them on probation. You're using them as cat bait. You're using us as cat bait just to, just to create a job from this problem okay from that problem do you get it do you understand so it's all about a money gain financial career career gain okay now that's all that is so first thing is this nephew wants to move come to tim it's once a youtube account lgbt pride wants to put my pictures Tell his story. It links through transgender. Sis sister looks just like me. Well, you know what we can get him to do? Thomas Larrabee, child, child molester, hangs around cannabis stores. Look at my face. Get him to do the same thing. Oh, he's not doing the same thing. He's not doing the same thing. He's not doing the same thing. Well, you know what? We'll give him a little, lot of hints that it's me. Get him to say that it's me making these videos. Are oh, you going to be charged with criminal defamation? You got no proof. And it's just like the same thing like I was saying earlier this morning. Okay, they said this. Joe died? Oh yeah, Joe died? Well, let's create these NWO videos. Let's try this. We move back home, and they think to themselves, Joe's dead. 
Joe passed away. But imagine if Joe was still alive. How would it be like if they moved back and Joe was still alive? And they thought, well, he would make these videos. Joe would complain to the police and say, criminal defamation. He can't prove that I did that. I'd say, well, cops investigate. They would say we did. And you know yourself. Because it, you, you know yourself. And it even says in the last article that the London Free Press wrote about the Crown Ward class action. That oftentimes, a lot of times, there is no evidence. Even though it happened, there is no evidence. Okay? It's like, it's like when you have an unreliable witness and you're, you're thinking to yourself, or the system wants to say, if you have an unreliable source, it means that it didn't happen. No, all it means is that you don't have a reliable source. Okay? So go back to this. The cops wanted to say... The cops wanted to come in here and say, if Joe was still alive, um, you're under arrest for what? For criminal defamation. You can't prove that he did that to you. And then I go, well, then investigate. And they say, Thomas, we did. You know often there's no evidence and you need evidence. You need evidence. If you have no evidence, you'll be charged. Well, wait a minute. Think about it like this. Someone needs evidence to be able to talk about this. But you know that most people don't have evidence, and you know that because there is no evidence. Just look at it like this. This is such a serious topic, and you're, you're telling the world, you can only talk about this if you have evidence. It's almost like this. The government really doesn't want big conferences talking about and, and inviting every single survivor at the table. They don't want those kind of conferences, the government. They don't want it so bad they made a rule. You can't talk about this unless you got evidence. But the majority of cases don't have evidence because a lot of cases there's just no evidence. So it's like we don't want a conference so bad that we're going to tell people you can only attend this conference if you got evidence. It's like nobody shows up because nobody's got evidence. And it's like right on. But going back, that's how they think. Just to say it like this. We're going to have a conference and and – but you can only attend if you have evidence. Oh, cool. Only a few people showed up. So this should be wrapping up soon. That's how the cops and the system think. Just to say it like that. You can only have someone charged or you can only talk about this. You can only talk about it. You can only talk about it if you have evidence. And you don't have evidence. So you can't talk about it. So we're going to charge you with criminal defamation. Yes, this is never being talked about. Because... We rely on these issues growing as a social worker field or policing field. Okay, you watch cops and the cops say, yeah, there's a lot of crime in this city. Like, they're happy. Their career relies on that. So going back to the transgender, and I'm going to end this recording. Because they don't want conferences and their, ish their career relies on these problems growing, they had no respect for me when I entered this city. And I, yeah, because they don't want a conference like that, because the issues, when they grow, their career relies on it. If your career relies on problems, you want that to grow. And a conference that I say we should be having, where there's a big conference and every person who was molested is allowed to attend, regardless of how fucking crazy you are. I don't care if you molested a bunch of kids and raped a woman and killed a dog and, and all these other horrible things out there. If you were molested, you're allowed to join, even if you're coming here in handcuffs and shackles because you're a prisoner, okay? You might be in a different room, but do you understand my point of view? Uh, every, Or you can't attend the conference, but we give every prisoner a questionnaire, and, they're, and, and they write it and they put their opinions and, and the two confer the conference would be, how do we prevent this from happening in, in the first place? Prevent abuse. And then from there, if we can't prevent the abuse, how do we create more programs within the prisons, jails, to give these offenders programs that will rehabilitate them? Because we need more programming than, than what's already around. But that would cost more taxpayers. But look at it like this. When I moved here... They don't want a conference like that, okay? They're, they want those issues to grow, so then their careers stay. So they had no respect with all of that when I moved here, let alone my story. And then you're also thinking, 
you're you're turning around and saying, um, well, what do they say? They say, um, yeah, kids get abused. Thirty years later, they're they're crippled mentally, and and that's why you should be in jail. And that's what they say to the offender. But then on the other hand, they tell the victim, that was thirty years ago. Move on. So you can tell that that's just using us as cat bait for that career. So, yeah, they had no respect for me, my story, my experience, all of that. Mm. And when we came here, when we came here, all they heard was Terry and transgender. And they said, yeah, we really care about that stuff. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. And they thought that I'd call her t- friend, uh, Terry Larrabee, transgender, 58 Lakeview Drive. And they thought that I would do that. But I'm not going to do that. Okay. You're just trying to get me to do what I wanted to do. You should take, or what you want me to do. You're just trying to get me to do what you want me to do. Is do that. That's the goal of your video. But I'm not, I never did that. I never did that and I will never do that. I will never take a photo of you on the street. I will never um, make a video like that. I'm doing what I wanted to do originally. And that's just tell my story. You guys didn't respect all that. You guys don't respect all that. I think the transgender rights made the cops go, yeah, who gives a fuck about what he wants? You're transgender. Get him. If he's going to tell his story and it's going to affect you, get him! That's what you guys thought, eh?